so yes, my name is Karolina Tanse, and I've been responsible for the uh, pilot forest plan, uh, learning forest and ownership in this project. And this is this pilot is a is supposed to be a guide for learning um, about your uh, forest ownership and um, about your property. I will uh, shortly go through the background and then go into what a forest plan is, and then some about the evaluation we did and uh, the conclusions from it. Uh, so the pilot is connected to the project aims of developing new services as, and uh, for small and middle-sized enterprises and to strengthen the forest owners. And this is done mainly through increased knowledge and uh, through that building confidence in their forest ownership. And in work package one, they uh, identified the areas for improvement and uh, new services. Uh, and that's where the idea of a plan or a strategy to support the forest owner in their forest ownerships. Uh, and this is where the pilot departs from. So a uh, forest plan, it's a learning guide to more knowledge about the forest property. And it also includes a guide to formulate a well-defined goal for the forest. Uh, it's also supposed to work as a decision support for the uh, forest owner in different situations that they end up in. Uh, and when they have gone through this or worked with this forest plan, they uh, are hopefully prepared for different situations at a forest as a forest owner. So they um, know what to do when, when questions arise or uh, they... Um, have a call from someone that wants to buy forest or something like that. Uh, and in this way, it's uh, supposed to be a complement to the forest management plan that is well established already. And in this picture, you can see the, the thought uh, differences between these ones. Uh, the forest plan is more about the forest ownership, about the frames and preconditions uh, and needs for the forest owners. It also uh, includes a well-defined uh, goal for the forest and some planning and documentation. Uh, the forest management plan is more about the uh, operative management on the property. It uh, includes forest delineations uh, and the stand information on each, each stand, and it can be age, height, basal area. And, the, and one thing that's most important is these plans are the management's suggestions uh, and they also include some documentation. Um, so in this way they are supposed to be a, a complement uh, to each other and um, the forest plan, the ideal uh, situation is that you have that before you do a forest management plan and the forest plan can be a, a communication document when you order a management plan. Uh, so the evaluation of the forest plan was done in two parts. Uh, first, we did one with forest owners, and it was done by a survey. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't end up with so many participants. Only eight out of 20 completed it. Uh, but the feedback we got was that it was easy to use. And uh, after they had filled in this uh, forest plan and worked with it, they felt more confident in the, their forest ownership and in ordering services. Um, on the question, if forest plan uh, is something that they see as a good service that can be offered by companies, it wasn't really a clear answer we got or clear direction. Uh, but I think we'll get back to that later. Um, some feedback we, uh, or improvements we got was that they wanted more examples to get the mind going when they worked with it. Uh, and also the layout could be improved. They also wanted parts connected to the management. It was uh, different things they uh, gave examples of, but 
that I didn't uh, really include in the when I reworked the forest plan after this because I didn't want it to get too close to the management plan that I showed earlier. Uh, we also presented the forest plan to uh, the advisory services divisions division at SFA to uh, see how the forest plan could work as a service. And uh, the feedback we got was that they thought it was a useful tool in their activities. And uh, actually now it will be included in Uncommon Course that comes in September, I think. Um, not It will be um, divided into different parts and some uh, formulations are changed, but uh, the basics of the first plan are included. Um, they were very positive to guide for formulating goals for the forest owners. They also believe that uh, it's it's a need for the forest owners to to improve uh, their goals because uh, new forest owners don't really because of the lack of knowledge they don't have so clear and defined goals, so they don't really know what what they want or what they want to do with the forest. We also discussed if uh, the forest plan in the future can be a part of my pages at SFA website where all forest owners have access to. Uh, in, in that way, they, it can also be uh, connected to the map services. Uh, and as mentioned before, the, some improvements of the layout and accessibility uh, were discussed as well. So after the evaluation, I did a, a rework, rework the forest plan, and um, it is divided into four chapters. The first one is about owning forest. It includes an introduction about being a forest owner, uh, some knowledge that can be good to have, uh, some useful tools that you can uh, that you have access to, uh, and I also added uh, study questions. And they are not at all a complete questionnaire that you. That when you've done them, you know everything about owning forest, but it's it's more of an inspiration to where you can find information and um, and find more inspiration as well to your forest property. The second chapter is about frames for the forest owners. It includes um, text about the responsibility as a forest owner, the different needs and preconditions for if you are uh, several owners in one property, we touch on the goals and um, ordering services. The third chapter is about formulating goals. Uh, it uh, shows why it's important to have a goal and uh, examples of a well-defined goal. Uh, it also takes um, uh, a step into this strategy uh, plan that you also can do in the forest plan. And the fourth uh, chapter is about the forest plan or it, when, where you do your own forest plan and it's mainly tables to, to fill in. They look like this. So the first one is about the, the property and basic information, uh, some distributions and different values and the strength and limitations of the property. Uh, the second um, table is, I think, maybe one of the most important ones where you uh, clarify the needs for each owner and uh, the how you divide the responsibilities and how much work you can put into your own property and how much you maybe need to uh, order from a, another company, etc. And I think in this way, to, when you clarify it, you uh, can avoid conflicts and, um, and it's clear for everyone uh, what mindset the owners have for, for the property and being a forest owner. Uh, the third 
uh, table is about the goal and it starts off with a vision uh, where they can think about the future and uh, what they see before themselves uh, in their forests. Uh, and through that, it's maybe easier to to define a goal and on what requirements you have and what you want for from the forest. Uh, when you specify the goal or done the goal, uh, you can specify it into uh, these four boxes to because it's not so easy to have everything in maybe two sentences. Uh, so in that way, you can prioritize better and you see what's most important for you and uh, it's more clear in the different uh, areas. And then we have a table for the strategy how uh, and different categories uh, and this can of course change between but uh, between the forest owners but these are some examples. And a yearly plan to uh, to clarify who does what and when. So some conclusion is that um, after the evaluation, it seems like the forest plan is a useful tool for the forest owners, but uh, we need to test uh, the plan on more and different type of forest owners because it's uh, just eight and they work very similar to each other uh, in knowledge and such. So. Um, it could be good to see if if we need to do the forest planning different levels, for example, or or anything else. Uh, we also need to test it more uh, with SMEs because it, it wasn't time in this uh, project to or this pilot to to test with SMEs. Uh, but I see it's that the forest plan is mainly useful in advisory communication and learning activities uh, where the SMAs have um, their directly contact to the forest owners. Thank you. I hope you, you he heard me. 